Hi, this is Steve Almos, and we're going to go through our last part three of our little short little seminar, Webinar 101, First Time Buyers. Okay, you have now, since we've gone through the last step, have found your loan, you've gotten your approval, you have your paperwork in order, you found your professional real estate agent to work with, you have now gone out and looked for homes. You have made sure you found a home that, that fits, fitted your needs within the ballpark of the price range that you can afford. You're not overbidding on a piece of property and that you're finding an area that you're comfortable with. Next step, of course, is now you've got, let's say you submit your offer. You submit with all the terms and the offer gets accepted. Now, when you submitted this offer, you should have gone over with you and make sure that you have enough time in that contract to make sure your loan gets a chance to close. Because if it doesn't, and your seller does not want to give you an extension, you could lose the house. Or if he does want to give you an extension, he may charge you per diem, a, price, a cost per day, over the time frame it was supposed to close. Okay, there is such a thing called as reasonable time frames that can slightly go over, but again, very. just make sure that you have enough time in your contract that you negotiated to close your loan. Stress is on your part to, to get to the next step. Next step is making sure that you do everything bef that's within that time frames that's supposed to be done. You sure have a certain amount of time to inspect and do what you need to do, and if, if the profit does not meet the standards you're looking for, you should be able to back out. Make sure you have that somewhere in the contract. It's important that you do an inspection on your property. Yes, you don't have to hire somebody to do that. It's advisable that you do. You don't want to run into a problem after you buy the property. Also, this should all be done before you do the appraisal. Because if you are going to back out of the property, well, the expenses are only your, your inspection inspectors at that time or your inspection of what you're doing. Once you hire the appraiser or the appraisal gets done, you have a cost to that appraiser. So that's a large amount. I mean, it could be, like I said in California, about four hundred fifty dollars if not more in some cases. Then you're going to get to your contract. You, let's say that everything looks fine. You continue on. You have a certain amount of time to close that transaction. You're heading toward the closing of the transaction. Now, here's an error that most buyers don't realize. But don't go out there and start spending money. Don't go out there and figure, well, I've got my approval, let's put this on the credit card, let's buy this, let's get this ready for the house. Because lenders will check where you stand before they give you the loan. So if the 30 days or 45 days, whatever you have in the contract comes to place and the lender's ready to fund, he may double check on you to make sure that your credit still looks good, your expenses haven't gone up, and everything looks fine and the appears that your approval is still in place. Okay, because you definitely at that time don't want to be refused because then you really are looking at a possibility of a lot of expenses. You could owe expenses to the seller for being off market. You could owe expenses to the agents for commissions. You would definitely have the expense of the appraiser and you definitely have the inspection if you had an inspection done. All that over and above losing the property would not be a great situation. So. If you've done your research and you've found the right property and everything's in place, the end of your time frame, you've gotten your loan, the next thing you'll get is the keys to the property. And you will be a homeowner. That's another series of seminars I may go over. But congratulations, you're a proud owner of a home. Till next time. This is Steve Olmos. Again, I work the Southern California area of uh, real estate, which is basically the Orange County, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles area right in there. If you need a real estate agent and you're looking at this particular area, let me know. Yes, there's Southern California professional real estate agent, Steve Olmos. Talk to you next time. Thank you and bye.